Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I've got the Apple Silicon M1 MacBook Air 2020 in front of me and I'm going to show you how to do internet recovery or recovery mode on this computer. So this is going to be different from all the other Macs that have come before this, which required you to hold down Command and R while you turn on the computer in order to get the recovery uh, window to come up. And um, the difference here is that all we need to do now is uh, when we press the power button, we hold it down and then something here will say, um, continue to hold down in order to enter the recovery mode. So I'm gonna do that for you now. I'm gonna press the power button and I'm gonna hold it. And as you can see here, it's saying continue holding for startup options. So um, it's loading now and I could lift my finger now and it'll go into the recovery menu. I'm just gonna show you quickly what's changed with this recovery menu as well. So um, here we, we have the options menu, which is kind of the traditional recovery menu. And here we're gonna, we can boot into the main operating system internally. And I'm assuming that if we have external drives, we might be able to boot from there. Um, so what I'm gonna do is go into the options menu, which is gonna bring us to the kind of traditional recovery mode. So here I'm just gonna select language. And there we are, we're inside the machine. So I think that the main difference, of course, is like there's a brand new look to this. So it's all Big Sur kind of themed with the new kind of icons. Everything that we kind of had before is still there. So we've got things like um, the terminal Right, which we can still use to type commands, right? Um, and which I'll quit that. And we've also got startup security utility, which um, we can use to change the um, security of our startup desks. And we've got um, the ability to restore from a time machine backup. So um, it is possible to restore from Intel um, time machine backups and uh, we can also reinstall the operating system here. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tech video.